OJ. Yes. You came fifth at the um, British Athletics Championships at the weekend. Yeah. Now I understand you came late to the warm up. Yeah. What happened? Okay, um, there's been a lot of like different versions of the story, but um, in short, um, me and my coach, well, my coach was told one time, he's, the official basically said we had 10 minutes, so I'm getting treatment from the physio, I'm doing some light strides, getting prepared, and then I've gone to the call room and they've told me that I missed the time, um, and yeah, it was something that just threw my mind off completely. Um, so we was pleading with them for about 20, 25 minutes, and in the end, I got reinstated maybe about about one minute before the race went off. So I don't know if anyone saw it on BBC, but um, you could actually see me like running out like in my kit before the race started. So everyone's on the start line, like ready to race. I was setting up my blocks. So um, as you can imagine, in a world class field like we had in the British Championships, mishaps like that, you know, it kind of messes with your mental. And I just wasn't strong enough to kind of recover after all the back of that. But on reflection, I take responsibility for it. I should have known the times, um, but there was a lot of mistakes happening that day with different timings and things like that. So it was a hectic day, but I should have taken responsibility on um, knowing the time. But it's in the past now, and I'm looking forward to the World Cup. What most are you looking forward to in this World Cup? Um, I'm looking forward to, well, being part of the Great Britain team, obviously, is an honour, regardless of what level it is, whether it's youth, whether it's senior, it's always an honour to represent your country. Um, but for me personally, I'm looking forward to getting back out there and running a good race, being competitive. And um, ultimately, I'll, I'm, in the, I'm in the business to run quick. So if I can get a quick time out, that will put me in good stead moving towards the anniversary games um, in a few weeks' time as well. OK. You're of Nigerian descent. Your parents are Nigerian. Can you tell me what is the discipline like? <laughs> as you know, if you're a fellow Nigerian, you know that um, we take discipline and everything like that very seriously. So my parents were the same. There was no exceptions for me, but you know it definitely gave me the tools and um, the skills to be a great member of society as as I as I am now. And um, I think in sport as well, it's taught me about you know discipline, hard work, determination, and just not quitting. You know, so those aspects have definitely helped me in sport. Coming back to the World Cup, what do you realistically hope to achieve? Realistically, I want to go out there and win my race. Um, you know, you know, who wants to go into a race to lose? Um, I don't really know who's in the field yet, but whoever it is, I want to get out there, I want to win the race, I want to run a good race. I'm not really too concerned about times, I just want to run a good race and I know the times will come if I do that. So that's kind of my aim personally. And I want Great Britain to win the overall trophy and that will be good for everyone. So um, that's my aim for next week. You could also potentially have England being in the final of the World Cup that same day. <laughs> yeah, we could. So it could be a historic day for our nation, you know, if, if England get through to the World Cup final which I'm hoping we can do. Um, it will be a great day for us. I think kickoff's at three or four o'clock, four o'clock, and um, the athletics competition um, follows after that. So it could be a very, very good evening of sport for us. Thank you for your time.